Hello, can you hear me? Cool. So, hi, my name is Jason Nocklin. I'm the Vice President of Product Development at Gaglamp. And Gaglamp is a social media company that I'll tell you more about in a second. But just to give you some context, the social media market is the largest growing segment of the corporate marketing budget. And we're seeing this, Forrester's projecting this to become a $4 billion market in the next three years. So we're really excited to be going after this market at Gaglamp. So let's see if the transition's going. There we go. So while corporations are starting to spend more money on social media, they really have a lot of a lot of issues in how they're going about this, and they don't understand how to use it. So a few of the pain points we've identified is first that their content withers, withers on the vine, so they expend a large number of resources to generate their content, and then say that results in a single tweet on their corporate account. And based on our data that we've seen at Gaglamp, that tweet only has a lifespan of about 48 hours before no one's ever going to see it again. So they have all this content they're producing, but they're not making best use of it. And further, everyone in the organization, in a large organization these days has Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So, and corporations do not yet have a way to take advantage of all these people and their own personal brands as a way for marketing tools. So this is where Gaglamp comes in. Gaglamp is basically an enterprise SaaS application that allows organizations to create what we call a gaggle. And a gaggle is a group of stakeholders, so if you're a corporation, it'd be your, fan, your employees or customers. If you're a nonprofit, it might be your fans or supporters that are willing to reshare your messages on their Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn accounts. Uh, so basically, we get an application effect where a company has a message they want to put out. They share it with their gaggle, which is uh, you know, maybe 50 or 100 people who can then reshare that with their hundreds of thousands of followers across the internet. Uh, so where are we at as a company? We've been in public beta for a month. We've seen tremendous uptake. Uh, we currently have working with over 150 organizations and uh, looking to and expanding all the time. So this is a this is a sample of the companies we work with. As you can see, it's everything from MTV, large media organizations, nonprofits, PR firms. Uh, we're looking to reach out to political campaigns and government institutions as well. And just to give you a little view of the product, uh, we have two views. So there's the two sides of the product. There's the organization side where the manager, the marketing manager in an organization will come in to post messages. And then there's the uh, stakeholder side where the members can come in to share messages. And uh, so, so let me get that. So you have the manager dashboard. Um, the manager dashboard where you can see there's a post message form. You type in the message that you want to share with the gaggle, and we also show you analytics about how these messages are performing in the gaggle. So it'll give you an idea of how if you're posting good content, people are sharing it a lot, then you're doing your job well. If they're refusing it, then you need to rethink your content. We also show your ROI right on this board. So there's an ad spend that so to get the same reach, which I'll show you here with a I'll just with an example. Yeah. So we, one of our largest gaggles right now is the Jimmy Fund. And they have a mem they have a gaggle of 56 people. Uh, they posted about they posted 22 messages over the last month, and this has resulted in a reach of 52,000. To get that same reach with uh, with online advertising, you would have to spend about 50 dollars. Uh, to get that to get the same level of interaction they've had with clicks, you'd have to spend over 1,500 dollars. So in a month alone, the Jimmy Fund has saved 1,700 dollars in online advertising using Gaggleland. Uh, another organization working with is Golan Harris, which is an international PR firm. We're working with their Washington D.C. office. Uh, which they use Skylab to the launch of their new punditry blog, and they've managed with the same metrics. They saved over nearly four thousand dollars in a month with Gaglam. So that was the man manager side. On the member side, uh, you can see we have offer make it as simple as possible. And the members come in, connect their social media accounts once, and then they can instantly share their messages with one click of a button. And we also provide a reward system that the organization can manage to allow a further incentive for the members to share messages. So the product is currently free. We'll be launching play plan soon, so sign up now for our beta, uh, gaglamp.com. And come visit our table in the back. We're happy to demo it for you. Our three members of our founding team are here, myself, Jason, Glenn, who's in the back, and Rob, who's over at our table. So yeah, follow us on Twitter, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Do we have a couple questions? I have a quick question. Um, so it looks like very much a push methodology from the host pushing out to its members. Are you going to think about allowing members to then push information back that maybe the founding folks at the Jimmy Fund may found in, find interesting to get out to the rest of the gaggle? Or Yes, so right now we have that in a limited functionality. We'll be expanding it later. But right now what happens, if you hit the on any of those messages, if you hit no thanks, we send you a pop-up that says, why are you refusing this? And then the Jimmy Fund would get that information and say, oh, we need to 
not talk about this topic, but talk about this topic instead, because people were more willing to share those messages. Now, what if I have information that I want to share up to the Jimmy Fund to see if there's any interest in them s sending it to the rest of the gaggle? Is that something that yeah, is we're very there? interested in ways for the gaggle okay. members to help the managers yeah, right. do better marketing. Right. Um, first, I, I, I guess I want some insight into how these companies are getting these initial members and what are the type of rewards they're offering to be part of the gaggle. Okay, so I'll address the first part first. Uh, so with Golan Harris, it was their employees. So you know the part the boss, the boss or whoever said, you know, sign up for this, and they did. <laughs> uh, with the Jimmy Fund, we actually so we give every gaggle a unique link. When somebody clicks on that link, they sign up for the, they take into a sign up page, and the Jimmy Fund has posted that link on their Twitter feed, and they've been gaining members at a rate of about uh, three to five per day. Um, on the reward side. So the Jimmy Fund, I think their main reward, right, their first, we offer tiered rewards, so it's a point system. Their lowest level reward is a baseball cap. Uh, for a lot of organizations, a material good can be kind of a burden with something like this, so other organizations are offering recognition. Uh, Julex, a startup down in, an energy startup down in Atlanta, they have a founder who has a reputation for being a little crazy, so their reward is a night out in the town with him. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's really whatever you want to do with it. And in other forms, some people are doing just recognition, so we'll put your name on it. If you're the top chair, you'll put your name on our blog for the month. Thank you.